and welcome to Vlogging with Mark. It's great to see you back and thanks for joining us as you do each and every week. We are talking about how to live our everyday ordinary lives for Jesus. How do we actually make our faith a part of our everyday lives? Not just a part of our Sunday lives or not just a part of those moments throughout the week where we might spend some time in prayer or scripture reading, as important as all of those are. It's more than that. It's the prayer and scripture reading, it's the worship attendance, but it's also living life every day in a way that is meaningful to the glory of God and to the love of other people. And speaking of loving other people, uh, today I want to talk to you about a topic known as forgiveness. Many of you are familiar with, I'm sure, the, the great Lord's Prayer. It's found in Matthew 6 as well in Luke chapter 11. And in preparation for this time, I was going back and looking at the Lord's Prayer. Sometimes these very well-known words can become so well-known that we don't hear them well anymore. And so I was going back to Matthew 11, uh, Matthew 6 and Luke 11, and found out something very interesting, or rediscovered, if you will, something very interesting. Right after it talks about uh, that God would provide our daily bread, we pray, give us our daily bread. He goes on to say, and forgive us. And then listen to how it says, this right after when Jesus is teaching us how to pray. It says, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. Forgive us our debts or our sins or trespasses, whatever version you like, as we also have forgiven. Notice the past tense of those words. I think it's so important for us to realize that there is the understanding that the forgiveness from person to person has already taken place as we ask God for forgiveness. Elsewhere in the scripture it says that we are forgiven in the same way that we forgive. That's a high calling and that's something that we need to take very seriously. So how in the world are we to forgive as God forgives? How do we go about forgiving? How do we forgive when someone has harmed us? How do we forgive when the hurt was deep? How do we forgive when it's an ongoing struggle in our lives? How do we forgive something way in the past? How do we forgive something from yesterday? Well, I want to break it, bring us back to a very familiar passage that we've talked about recently to help us with that. And that is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Let me remind you what that says. Uh, there in the latter part of the chapter, it says love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude. It's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And I want you to think about the idea that you can forgive by being patient and being kind. Being patient and forgiveness means that we give people time uh, to improve. We give people time to work through some of those difficult things in their lives. And that's how we can work through forgiveness ourselves. Being kind. Kindness is a great way to really come back in a kind way towards someone who has harmed us. Let's continue to be kind. And think about this. Love does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. And here's the one that really hits home on this topic. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. One of the best ways we can forgive is not keep a record of those things that need forgiveness. It doesn't mean we just brush them under the table. It doesn't mean we just say no big deal because some things are big deals. But we don't hold on to them and we allow God to be the one who takes care of those things and not ours. It's mine to avenge, says the Lord, and not mine. And so you've been hurt. Take it seriously. Deal with the pain. Get the help you need. But don't hold it against someone. No, don't let that pain eat you up. Be a person who forgives. Refuse to keep a record of wrongs. So let's go make forgiveness a part of our everyday, ordinary lives. Thanks again for watching.